<laughs> it's one on Wii, Naval Battle Zone. Dot com. Like I said, I'm going to do a few videos on our new Naval Battle Zone. The old Naval Battle Zone, World War I, uh, was too cluttered. There's too much stuff going on. Slowing down the server. This new version is 100% better. And I showed in my last video the map. And I'll try to go a little bit more through it just so everyone can see. It's coordinated with. Um, what they call them chunks. And there's like an underwater area over here. Tons of space just to be and experience. You could build a castle there. You could do everything. You just start from here and go out with your ship or your plane or your helicopter and try to take over some territory. Um, griefing is allowed, so that may be a problem for some people. I think a lot of things will be hidden. Because of that, uh, as people build things and they want to show them off, I'm going to do videos of that as well. I'm getting off track here. Um, my goal for this video is to explain the shipyard number two. So, <clears throat> read the signs. Where are we going? Shipyard, shipyard two. So take the bus to the new shipyard two for customs. This is the bus. Then there's the bus, the shipyard shuttle. Alright, here we go. Nice, okay. Welcome to the new shipyard 2. Ship 1 and ship 2, ship 3, ship 4. Take the green bus for plane and tank plots. So, green bus goes to the plane and tank plots, but we are just going to hang out in the shipyard 2 right now. Take the gray bus for the old shipyard. Okay, so even though everything was taken away, you can still get to the original creations in that huge shipyard that we had in the original World War One. So I'm bring it up here. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the old shipyard. So all your stuff is still there. If you're a previous player, including the planes, tanks, everything. So, using the buses, see. shipyard, back to World War One. So let's do this, and then and spawn with more people. Hello, everybody. And he won't. We'll go with this guy in the bus. Thank you. So, back to the shipyard 2. Here we are. Type forward slash shipyard to see how many plots you've earned. Right click on the claim, sign claim spot. So, the way you get money is you use, you'll have an original amount of money to start with. You can use that to buy the, the ships that are already provided. Um, I don't know why this guy's distracting me. But, once you gain money, you can kill the merchant ships, things like that, other players, um, vehicular combat. Well, you gain money. So that's how you would get more money. And you gain rank as well. So as you gain rank, you get more shipyard plots. And it's automatic, so if you have it already, you should be able to go up to the sign and do it. So let's see if I can't do what it's telling me to do. Yard. So... I have zero claim to six available, so I'm at an admin, so I probably have the max allotted things to me, but that is an example of what it looks like. So these shipyard plots have been specially built to have players just automatically, without an admin's help, set their own stuff up based on their rank. And you can see that people are already doing And then we got the buses, so I showed the old shipyard so you can get your stuff there if you already had stuff built, and how the new shipyard works. So I think we can go to the tanks and planes, green bus, well marked. Okay, so here we are in uh, tank plots that way and we have a plane somehow okay so people can get a plot by gaining rank and earning money how do they do it um, you right click the select sign to select your vehicle 
when you go to the spawn, the proper spawn with the proper spawn sign, you right click it with nothing in the way, hopefully nothing is already spawned there, and it will appear. Then you can take control of it. As you can see, people have things built already. Um, we have very industrious players. And that's that. And you people got a little mixed up on where we put tanks, but that's okay. So here are some tanks. Let's see if we can try to do it on foot here. This is a cool flag that one of our moderators put up. His name is Hero Brian. I think. Yeah. Cool. Wavy flag. And then the buses back here. How to get back. And then we have nice benches for the bus. Okay, here we are at spawn. I wanted to show you the official ships and planes. How to go ahead and at least click on one and then spawn it. So let's see where the signs are. So this is the Atlantis class destroyer, instant rank free. So you just right click the sign and it says it loads right there. Then you go <clears throat> out of the dock area here. Guess I'm gonna do it the long way. And you go over the docks. Once you're over here at the docks, you can do the DD free because that's a DD Atlantis. Right click, and the ship appears. So you can get on the ship and drive it from there. I'm just going to let people go ahead and do that and go over to the plane area and show you how it is similar to the ships. Tanks and things spawn the same way. So I'm just going to show how you go up to the Texan here. You right click the sign and it loads in your it's a selected vehicle you go over here to the proper sign for the selected vehicle and you can spawn it right there the runway needs a little bit of work I'll fix that but right now that's how you would get in the plane and start her up I'm gonna leave it here for people to use so I don't take it over because if you take it over stupid spy chain um, then if you take it over uh, it becomes yours for a period of time before it either despawns or it is allowed to be taken over by another player. So that's my video, and thank you for watching. It's One Ali, Naval Battle Zone, signing out, and I'll do the next topic next time. I don't know what else to say. Let me see what it says here. All right, I think I went over it pretty well. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great one.